welcome back to tech drill in today's video we are looking into the local and remote mcp servers of github if you are new to mcp server or the model context protocol server it is what bridge github copilot with enterprise specific context like your private code docs and tools it helps copilot understand your world better MCP is not only really used by Copilot, it's an industry standard. We have already covered what MCP server is and how it works in detail in a previous video. So make sure that you check that video first. GitHub recently released the remote MCP server in a private preview mode. So right now GitHub support both local and remote MCP servers. We will look into the local MCP server, remote MCP server and conclude with why remote is important. Let us start with the local MCP server. This is a self-hosted version that runs in our environment. It offers full control and privacy. It's ideal for teams who want to test, prototype operate completely within a secure internal setup. But to get started, there are few prerequisites you will need. You should install the Docker and ensure that the Docker is running before starting the MCP server and the public image of your GitHub MCP server is accessible. In case you encounter a pull request error, you may have an expired token. So you need to go ahead and create a pair token or personal access token with the required permissions to access various GitHub resources. So the entire local setup is based on a Docker setup and it's required a pair token to access your GitHub ecosystem. This version is great for proof of concepts and secure internal testing, but it comes with overhead of local infrastructure management. The configuration of GitHub MCP server for your copilot start with an input string which capture your pad token and define the GitHub server as docker command with an arguments pointing to the externally available GitHub MCP server package and provide the token as an environment variable. This is the complete configuration of a local GitHub MCP server configuration. This can be added to your mcp.json file or your settings file. Now, let us talk about the remote MCP server which was recently released in public preview. This version is hosted by GitHub, so you don't need to worry about infrastructure, maintenance, or updates. Secure auth-based authentication, making access and permission management seamless. No need for any Docker setup or access to remote packages. It is faster to onboard and scale across the teams and GitHub will take care of the auto updates. There are two options for remote MCP server. The first one is Auth2 based, that is the recommended approach for the enterprises, where you can control the scope of access and SAML enforcements. Even the GitHub remote MCP server supports the path-based configuration which can be used for accessing the remote MCP. The advantage of path-based remote MCP over local MCP is there is no need for an infrastructure setup. You still need a path, but the entire MCP server is hosted by GitHub. You are directly accessing a hosted MCP server. The configurations are in a auth-based configuration, you need to define the GitHub remote MCP server with just the URL. 
When you start this MCP server, GitHub will take you to the github.com for authentication. Let us see how it works. I have configured the remote MCP with the just the URL. When you click on start, it takes you to authentication with GitHub. Just allow it. Takes to the normal authentication window on github.com and you just authorize the BS code with appropriate permissions. Here our MCP server starts running. I have handled the authentication in a separate window. Your experience will be when you click on start, it takes to the browser where you need to authenticate on GitHub and authorize VS Code to access the GitHub APIs. The configuration for remote MCP with GitHub PAD token. Still you are using a URL with a header information where we are sharing the PAD token as a authorization token. A simple change, but if you want a granular control or you want to provide a PAD token, you can take this approach. Both servers, the local and remote, serves the purpose of an MCP server. The difference is, in case of a remote MCP server, it is faster setup and there is no need to manage the Docker or any of the infrastructures with us. And the built-in auth security integration provide a secure authentication and access control. If you are new to MCP servers, try out both local and remote MCP servers from GitHub and explore the possibilities of getting the enterprise or organization context to Copilot. See you in the next video.